Oh my God, uh, I am back. It is Ray Numi, you guys, and you're watching The Numi Show. Welcome to The Numi Show. Oh my God, I am so excited. I am finally, finally back with you guys. Seriously, finally, finally back. <laughs> I know it has been a long time. I know I haven't talked to anybody on YouTube or doing anything. I was in Wisconsin doing that thing. I was working. Work was driving me crazy. I didn't have time to do anything. So I didn't have time for YouTube, which is actually upsetting to me. And um, it didn't dawn on me till actually last month when I thought about it, that I have been off YouTube almost a year. I started last November. It's about to be November, and I got three videos up. Three videos. A mess. So, anyways, I am back with you guys, fully loaded. I have now moved to Illinois, by the way. I am in Illinois now. I moved from Wisconsin. Um, nothing special. <laughs> Just moved. Um, and I am actually bringing you guys a fall look tutorial. I think it's going to be amazing. You guys are going to have fun with me this time. Not that you didn't the last couple of times. So, <laughs> um, I'm bringing you guys a full cut crease um, fall look. Fall editorial look, actually. Um, yes, this hair I, made, I did myself. I dyed it, cut it, trimmed it. Everything possibly you could think about with it. <laughs> I am actually going to um, do a tutorial, um, maybe not next time, but the time after that on actually how to make a wig. So definitely look forward to that. But anyhow, I am back with you guys. I am ready to rock and roll and I am ready to show all of my tips and tricks and everything to you guys to answer all questions and just be available to do makeup because I just love makeup. So I'm back, you guys, fully loaded, and I'm not going anywhere this time. Locked down. Try me not. So anyhow, this is this look. Please stay tuned for the tutorial. You guys are going to love it. I love you guys. Thank you. I hope you guys continue to watch me. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the bell because it's going to be tons of more to come. And on my videos, I love for people to share with me what they want to see because it helps me actually uh, reinvent myself. So if you want to see a look, just let me know. I'll start to do it, you know, and I'll do it in one of my tutorials. Um, again, I'm back, fully loaded, not going anywhere. So you got to deal with me. <laughs> so again, this is actually the 2018 fall tutorial from Ray Me. Stay tuned. Ah. Anyways, hello everybody. I'm so happy you guys are back. So what we're gonna do is just jump into this fall look. If you hear any noise, that's my best friend Janae, or that's my little sister irritating me on FaceTime. She looks so stupid. Anyhow, <laughs> um, so that's and that's Janae. So um, let's just get on into it. So <laughs> anyhow, so. What I like to do all the time is, me personally, start with my eyes. Since that's what I'm gonna do first, any fallout, I can get that down, I can get that off of my face easily, um, just by, you know, wiping that off. And I don't want it to fall on my foundation, so therefore, I'm just going to do the eyes first. Typically, I like to start with my brows. Okay, so just like always, I like to use my Lancome New York number three when it comes to my brows. So typically, let me tell you guys, what's best with your brows is to actually use an angle brush. Um, so I like to use me a flat angle brush. You can get this anywhere with any brand. Long as it's flat and it's angled, you'll be able to use that. So let's just dive right in with a little bit I got left in here. But let's just dive right into this. Okay, so don't mind it if it looks like a little bit sloppy. That's when you're going to clean it up with your concealer or your paint pot or whatever you're going to use, your P. Louise base, whatever you're using to clean it up with. So then when I have my brows kind of somewhat where I want them to be and how I want them to be rather, um, I like to go in with my concealer to now shape them and also start my base for me to put my eyeshadow on. So what I like to typically use is three billion different types of concealers. So the one I'm using today is going to be Maybelline, actually, in um, color number 45 tan. So um, this is kind of really to my skin tone, um, so I like to use this a little bit first. So let's go ahead on with that. I just like to probably put this here first. Oh, 
Okay guys, and we are back. I have my base down. So typically when I get ready to do my um, eyeshadows, I like to use a lighter on top of my darker um, concealer. So I'm gonna step into my MAC NC40. Gosh, we need to get this. Let me tell you, this is new. Just came out probably about a couple of weeks ago everything this is life so this is amazing you guys are going to see how smooth it goes on and how good it blends i was going to say what the hell is that crawling on the wall that's mace nails Damn. that's a big ass by the bitch i'll be gone sounding like that they can have a fucking house you can they can have this this damn right. house. This all yours. I am gone. <laughs> so, as you guys saw in the beginning, I am doing a cut crease today. So I'm gonna start with my base color. I know I look crazy as hell right now, but anyhow, what I'm gonna do is start with my uh, base color uh, first, well, or my transition color rather. Sorry. Um, let's get into that. So, what I'm gonna do actually for my transition color is going to be. Um, vitamin C with this palette by Revolution. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful makeup palette. So um, this is what I'm go gonna go through. I'm gonna actually use vitamin C, which is this yellow that's here. Hold on, focus for me. Okay. This yellow that's right here, so that's vitamin C. That's gonna be my transition color throughout this look. So let's start and go on with that. I like to start through the outer and kind of work your way in in small strokes. Just want to make sure you get it on there. So then I'm going to go in just so I can just bluff this out a little bit more. I'm going to go in with my MAC 286 brush and this is really good. It's kind of like a fanned out brush. This is good for blending packing pigments on and then actually blending them into other ones. So that's why I'm going to use this one. So once you have that on, you want to make sure that you're blending upward at the top. You don't want any harsh lines. So that's typically what I do is I like to blend circle of motion and then swipe up, circle of motion, swipe up. So you can use this technique, but there's many out there that you can use. So, you know, kind of pick what works for you. Okay, so once we have the yellow on there, what I'm gonna do now is actually get my base color that I want to be in there between that yellow that's gonna transition into that maroon type of color. So with that same palette, what I'm gonna use is actually, oh, my palette is dirty, the hell? Okay, what I'm gonna use is Sweet and Sour, which is gonna be that orange tangerine-ish color, very fall. So, right? <laughs> now bitch is hungry. Anyhow. Okay, so now we're done. I want to use my MAC 286 brush again, and I want to just dab into that yellow again because it's actually kind of leaving, so I want to kind of bring that back in, and I don't want har any harsh lines with the orange. So basically, I'm just going to dab that on the end again, dust off any excess, and then I'm just going to blend that right with that orange and see how that kind of trans see how it transitions. Y'all see it. <sighs> on to the next step. This is going to be the darker... Um, color that's going to be underneath this orange and this is what's going to kind of halo over my cut crease so okay same palette cheesecake i'm going to use that color there which is kind of like that dark maroonish color it's kind of a lighter maroon actually take that and i just want to go right in the base with it outer corners remember and i like to drag it in softly you don't want to heavy handedly put it in there so softly, okay, so right when we have that base that's there, I'm gonna actually go into my MAC um, eyeshadow and I'm actually gonna pull out into it. Oh, that's so funny, I just said that. I'm gonna <laughs> pull out into it, which is gonna be this kind of purplish maroonish color and that's gonna really give me that effect because this is definitely more pigmented. Um, <clears throat> so just a little bit, literally you wanna just dab a little. Okay, so 
when you have your base kind of done, I know right now we look a little crazy, but it always looks worse in the beginning until you're done. <laughs> so, so I can actually carve this out my, for my cut crease. I'm actually going to go with my MAC um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is going to be in the color Soft um, Ultra. So you're going to actually use this. What I typically like to do is take a flat brush, you guys. Literally, you need to have a flat brush. So I typically like to go with a flat brush like this um, to kind of carve that out. Typically, I like to spray a little bit of um, spray on it just so we can actually get that paint pot to actually stick onto there. Go into that, get it real creamy. And then you want to go right into putting that on. So once I have my cut crease carved out the way I want it to be carved out, I'm going to go back in and then perfect everything, blend everything inward. Okay, so once I have that complete, I like to go, I want to go in with my inner in like a glittery color. So I'm going to actually go to infinity in this palette if you can see it goodness focus please i want to go to infinity god right here in this palette and i'm going to use that on my inner corner okay so once you got that done everything's looking a mess then you want to go into your wing liner i like to use Catrice Cosmetics. Um, it is waterproof gel. And so make sure you want to get your uh, angle brush again and you want to kind of dip into that. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to come together. So once I have that um, complete like that, I am actually going to do this next eye, but I'm going to actually do that off camera because that's a lot of filming. <laughs> so I'll do this off camera, then I'll come back and I'll do my complete face and then we'll see what the end results look like. Okay, dolls. Hey everybody, and we are back with this eye finish. So what I'm gonna do now is actually start prepping my face for my foundation and getting these highlights going, honey, and getting all this stuff together. So let's do it. So I'm gonna actually walk you guys through what I typically do, how I blend my neck to match everything. It is a process, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, typically what I start with is just a foundation on my neck. So what I like to do is fit me in the color 330 Toffee. Okay, so next what I like to do to bake on top of this just so I can even out my skin tone, I like to use the Revolution um, Luxury Baking Powder in the Terracotta color. This is what I use. This is excellent for my skin tone, darker skin tones, and a little bit lighter, like caramel skin tones. So um, that is excellent. So what you want to do is take a good amount on your fluffy, small foundation brush, and what you want to do is just pack it on. And then you want to kind of bring this down to your neck area. You see how it already kind of starts to contrast within my skin color? This is why I love this. And as I start to do the rest of my face, this is gonna actually bake into my skin and it's actually gonna to come to the, uh, actually an excellent um, complexion that matches. I don't prime that much because my face is very oily. Primer does not work for me. And no primer I've ever tried worked for me. And I've been from the least expensive to the most expensive. So um, how I like to do it is, I put a little bit of primer on there, but first, what I like to introduce to you guys who are like me and very oily, if you go to MAC, MAC has this um, this matte cream maintenance type of thing, um, which is actually, um, it's a matte cream that keeps you from being super, super oily. And I think this is absolutely phenomenal when they came out with this. So this is a tube that it comes in. And I just like to put a little bit on my finger, then I like to dab it where I know I'm gonna be oily. Put that over. And then I just like to blend, that, just smooth that into my skin with my fingers. I don't want to use a brush because I don't want the brush to absorb it. I want my skin to absorb to absorb it. Um, so I just like to put that right into those areas where I know for a fact that I'm going to be oily, which is always around my nose area. After that, then we're moving on to our foundations. Now, 
don't judge me, but I um, use like 35,000 foundations to get this face to match. <laughs> so again, Sarah Covered back with that brand. This is a wonderful brand. Actually, Walgreens carried it. I'm not sure if they still have it. Um, I order mine offline, so this is actually excellent. This is one that I use. This is in the color number 10, which is kind of like that toffee to dark caramel, I guess you could say, type of complexion. I use that along with my MAC Poreless um, 330 color um, Fit Me, along with my MAC um, Cream that I have. I kind of add that in there too, in color NC45 Studio Tech. So I put all those together to create my skin tone. See, I like to go on my skin and then I'm gonna bring this down. I am actually gonna bring this on top of this baking powder because I want it to blend. Okay, so after I have that all blended over, as you guys can see, that is a smooth complexion, honey. She is together. Okay, so after I have that, then I wanna move on to my concealer. Um, so yes, let's start to get that on there. I love to use, as I, sh I think I told you guys earlier, I'm not sure, um, NC50, and I love to use NC45 and put those together to blend those out with my Beauty Blender. So kind of put those in. So first I'm gonna start off with my NC50, um, and I'm gonna go just put that in there. Now you wanna be careful because you don't wanna mess up your wing. So I'm gonna show you guys, and the reason why I don't use tape or anything like that on my wings because I like to shape it myself. Um, I know that's hard for some people, but you'll find it easier once I show you my technique on how to do it. Okay, so um, I like to take my flat brush and then I want to just dab that in. Please be careful, don't mess up your look. And then get right to that corner and I want you just to dab, dab, swipe, okay? So after you do that, then I like to start to put on my powder to blend everything together evenly. So I like to go with two brands when I do my powder. <laughs> I know I use a lot of foundation, so please don't judge. Um, I, this is just, it helps me. This is my full coverage. Um, so of course I love my MAC. I have to go with my MAC. So what I like to do is use NC45 Studio Fix Powder from MAC. It's in like a brownish color. So you wanna get kind of your foundation brush and you just wanna blend all of this stuff in. Please don't do wipes, you wanna dab. Because if you start to wipe your face, people don't realize you're actually smearing your makeup underneath there so it does not last longer. So you actually wanna just dab into circle of motions, don't actually wipe. Okay, so once I put that on, um, see how this kinda leaves me just a smidge a bit pale in my opinion. Some people say it doesn't, it fits perfectly, but to me it's a little bit pale. Then I like to go in with my Pure brand. They sell this at Kohl's. This has a little bit more of an orange hue to it, so I like to go into this and go on top of that because it brings it together. So after I have that set, then I like to actually go in and do my contouring part. Um, how I contour is a different way from a lot of people, but I think I have seen a lot of people use it this way too. So I still like to use my MAC powder, but I actually use, I think this is NW45, so not NC, NW. Okay, so after that, what I typically like to do is down the bridge of my nose, well, the sides of my nose actually, to kind of kind of snatch that nose a little bit. But again, like I told you guys, I'm not heavy, heavy on contouring, so it's not gonna be like, oh my God, this is a penciled nose. That's just not my thing. What I wanna do is, underneath these eyes, I wanna do a white liner, actually. White liner is perfect for underneath the eyes when you have screen so top heavy on your top lids because it actually opens up the eye. So, what I'm gonna actually do now is put bring some of these colors down underneath my lid just to make sure, just so it can open up my eye a little bit more, make it look a little bit more finished. Okay, so when you have that done, then you wanna go into your mascara on your lower lid. Again, be careful guys, because if you're anything like me, Mascara is not my friend. It just goes everywhere. So now moving on to lashes. I love to use Cosmetic London. I already, let me make, wait for it to focus. 
Okay, there we go. I already have some, some taken out, so this is just an extra box for me to show you guys. Um, okay, so while my eyelashes are sitting there prepping, um, what I'm going to actually do is um, my lips now. So, as I told you guys, it's a fall look. I want to go with something very, very, very fally. So I'm actually gonna do my lip in a lip pencil. I'm not gonna use any gloss. If you guys know me, I told you in some of my other tutorials, I cannot stand using lipstick sometime too much. I love using um, lip pencils as a full coverage lip because I think it is like absolutely stunning and it stays on all day. Um, so, <clears throat> so the color I'm using, which is absolutely my main go-to color, Night Moth with MAC. Um, so I'm actually going to put that over my lip. I'm going to line it first and then I'm going to fill it in. Okay, after I finish that, then I like to go into my highlight stage. So, again, with one of my brands I love, Pure, I like to go with their highlight. <clears throat> and that, excellent. So, what I want to do is actually is this one here. So this is more of the autumn feel. I want to use that one and that's in the color Determined. After you're done with that, you want to kind of get your MAC spray and you kind of want to set your face completely. I don't even know if I have any more in this bottle. This is damn empty. Get in here. I will use my other one here, which is actually by Revolution. Um, I'm actually going to just spray that all over. set to go so I'm gonna actually go get my hair together and I'll be right back so you guys can see the complete complete finish look okay and we are back fully put together and honey this look is giving me everything yes hunty 